Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. MTG Box Analysis here with a fully sealed and intact old school set booster box on Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this thing open. We're gonna see what kind of value we can find. Take a look at the cards that we're gonna get off of the list and see if we can't uh, break the market value or market price of this box. So um, it's been a little while since set boosters kind of went out and were replaced with play boosters, kind of around the same time draft boosters. So we've got ourselves 30 packs here. Each pack has 12 cards. We got our cards, we got cards off of the list. So let's see what kind of value we can find in here. And at the end of the video, we'll do a full box analysis. So make sure you do stay tuned to the end. All right, so we got ourselves an unsigned R card, followed by a foil mountain. And then we're gonna see ourselves a showcase celestial unicorn, Arborea Pegasus, Eyes of the Beholder, Baleful Beholder. Then we're going to see a Loathsome Troll with a Ray of Frost, followed by uh, Targ Nar Demon Fangnol. Then we're going to see a Reaper's Talisman with a Dungeon Descent coming in from the Land Cycle. Very cool to see that. And we even get a Mythic Inferno of Star Mounts coming in. Awesome to see that. Uh, this card does hold some value for us. Then we're going to see a Foil Your Ambush on a Road with a Devil Token in the back. All right, so that's kind of a, a look at uh, how the set booster packs go. You know, this set is a couple of years old. We're, uh, we're hunting two commons and three uncommons in this set. So we've got ourselves another non-signed art card with a basic island, a Rime, Frost, uh, Rime Shield Frost Giant with an Elutrigard Ranger. Then we're going to see a Ranger's Longbow, a Plummet, a Tiger Tribe Hunter with a Hulking Bugabear, Goblin Morningstar, a Bag of Beholding, then we're going to see a Displacer Beast with a Showcase Treasure Vault coming in as our rare. So this is kind of like a dungeon module uh, framing. Then we're going to see you come to a river in foil with an Air Elemental coming in off of the list. All right, very cool. Got our first list card. So the two uncommons that we're looking for, uh, out of black, we're looking for Deadly Dispute, and out of red, we're looking for Unexpected Windfall. Both of those are valued over a buck, so hopefully we can find, uh, you know, two, three, maybe even four of those uh, in this box to give us some more value. All right, one more non-signed dark card with a Plains. Now we're going to see the Pegasus again in Showcase with You Come to a River, Evolving Wilds, followed by a Dire Wolf Prowler, a Red Dragon. Then we're going to see a Dungeon Map with a Purple Worm, followed by a Potion of Healing and a Drizzet Duerden coming in as our main set rare, followed by uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter coming in, a really good rare from the set, valued at almost $5. And we're even gonna get the Dungeon Descent again in the foil, very cool. So triple rare pack. And in the back, we're gonna see ourselves a Wolf Token. All right, so uh, the uncommons that we're looking for, we're looking for a cleric class, uh, we're looking for a wizard class, or we're looking for a druid class, so classes uh, or sagas, right, or, uh, are, are a big thing in here. So we've got ourselves an island, followed by a borderless red dragon. Unfortunately, the borderless uncommon dragon's not high value. Then we're gonna see the Pegasus with the Beholder, another Beholder, and you'll see that a lot. Goblin uh, Battle Cry, you see a pair of goblins, Intrepid Outlander, Hired Hexblade, with a shortcut seeker and we're gonna see a skeletal swarming coming in as our main set rare with a warlock class coming in uh this is one of the uh the classes that's not valued over a buck at least not in non-foil then we're gonna see the atropole uh coming in as our token all right so i'm gonna just kind of thumb through the common uncommons uh and do a little fast forward action to make this uh less than a 25 minute video so we've got a non-side dark card with a foil planes all right, and we are gonna see one of the uncommons valued over a dollar. We got the Druid class coming in. Very cool to see that. And behind that, we're gonna see uh, Asmodus, the Archfiend coming in as our main set rare with a Swarming Goblins and a Spider token in the back. So uh, just to kind of inform you, there are um, just about every single signed art card in this uh, particular set is valued over a buck, just about, not quite every single one. Uh, so if we find a signed art card, I'll, uh, I'll make sure we'll call out the value. All right, our rare is gonna be a wizard spellbook coming out of blue, and that'll be our only rare with a Neverwind uh, Dryad and a non-token token minigame in the back. 
So the uh, big hitters from this set, there's really only one that you're looking for, and that's Old Gnawbone, uh, valued at around $33. Uh, every other rare or mythic is currently valued under $10, except for some big ones from the list, and if we find those, I'll call them out. Our rare is going to be a uh, Grazalix Ithlothid Scholar coming in, is valued over two bucks. Now we're going to see the Blink Dog, followed by a uh, Necrotic Sliver coming in off of the list, just an uncommon. All right, our rare for this pack is going to be a Meteor Swarm. And we are going to get a backup rare. It is going to be the Dragon Turtle coming in in the Parchment Showcase with a Scion of Stygia coming in in foil and a skeleton token in the back. There we go. We got uh, one of the commons in the set valued over a buck. We got the Unexpected Windfall. Then we're gonna see Check for Traps with an Oswald Fiddlebender coming in, another rare valued over a buck, with a Knoll Hunter in foil parchment. And we're gonna see a Mirror Pool coming in off of the list, a Mythic. Very nice to see that. Not sure of the value on the mirror pool, but it is a mythic. It is a non-basic land, so you know it's going to my collection. Our rare is going to be a werewolf pack leader coming in. Unfortunately, not valued over a dollar. Then we're going to see the paladin shield and a treasure token in the back. All right, so that takes us through one third of the box. We got ourselves a mythic off of the list. We got ourselves a mythic from the main set. And we got one of the commons and one of the uncommons valued over a dollar. I don't think we've got much value in the foil space and no signed art cards yet. All right, our rare is gonna be a dragon turtle out of blue, low value rare with a celestial unicorn and another mini game in the back. All right, I hope we do get to see some value in here. Uh, hopefully the list saves this box unless we can pull another Nabo. There we go, got ourselves the wizard class, another uncommon valued over a buck, so we'll just put that right there. Then we're going to see Loyalty with an Apprentice, and our rare is going to be the Black Staff of Waterdeep with Bar the Gate coming in as our foil, and a Goblin Lore coming in from Portal uh, as a list card. All right, our rare for this pack is going to be Orcus, Prince of Undeath. Not a high value rare with foil you happen on a Glade, and the Atropole coming in as our token. Um, this box, or these boxes, right, uh, you'll see lots of packs with almost no value, and then all of a sudden, the value will just creep in. All right, we got ourselves the Paladin class, one of the rare classes coming in, and directly behind it, whoo, yeah, there we go. We got ourselves the number one card in the set, unless, of course, you picked up the Borderless. Uh, Old Gnawbone, valued over $33. Awesome to see that. Hooray, now I feel good about this box. We got ourselves a pixie guide in foil and a non-token token in the back. Super happy to see old Gnawbone show up. Uh, this box does come from the same case as a few other boxes that I've opened over the last six months, so glad to see. I think we're now up to like four old Gnawbones in the case. Another Druid class coming in, another uncommon valued over a buck. And we're gonna see Gretchen with an insidious uh, smith. Then a Wandering Trebador, followed by an Instrument of the Bards coming in as our main set rare with a Feign Death in foil and a Dog Illusion coming in as our token. All right, moving into our next pack. We're probably just around the halfway point, if not just over. Um, thankfully, Old Gnawbone did, uh, did add some value and hopefully is putting this box on the right path. All right, our rare for this pack is going to be a Frog Myth. And then we're going to see ourselves a Trickster's Talisman in foil with a treasure token in the back. Not a high value pack there for sure. Still curious when we're going to get ourselves a signed art card. Usually you're good for two or three in these boxes. There's the uh, Wizard class again. So now we've got two of the Wizard and two of the Druid class. Then we've got the Magic Missile with the Devourer. Intellect with Temple of the Dragon Queen and a Minion of the Mighty coming in as our rare with an Elutrigard Ranger in foil with a Goblin. All right, three more packs in stack number two. Hopefully we've got a good list card back there. All right, 
our rare is going to be the fighter class. This is going to be a really good hit, valued over $5. Awesome to see that. And behind it, we're going to see ourselves a foil blue dragon uncommon in borderless. Hopefully that's valued over a buck. And then we're going to see ourselves a deathless knight coming in uh, from uh, Throne of Eldraine. Just an uncommon off of the list. All right, so we do get our first assigned art card here. So we're going to go ahead and feature the artist, and we'll take a look at the uh, uh, the value of the assigned art card. So this is going to be Long Rest coming in by Chris Siemens. So thank you very much, Chris, for illustrating that card, lending your signature. Unfortunately, this is one of the art cards not valued over a dollar in signed art form. But thank you so much, Chris, for contributing to the game, signing the art, and bringing the game to life. All right, our rare for this pack is going to be a long rest, followed by a leather armor in foil, and we're going to see a rare body snatcher coming in off of the list. Very cool to see that. Love my uh, love some rares off of the list. It's always fun to look those up after the box opening and kind of see the value because, you know, you just can't keep track of 60-some odd thousand cards. All right, we got ourselves the hand of Vecton coming in followed by a hulking bugabear, and then we're going to see ourselves a treasure token. All right, we are down to our final uh, stack of packs here. Um, since we haven't, se we've only seen one signed art card, I'll kind of call it out. Um, the most valuable signed art card that you can get is Tiamat, valued at $18. Uh, after that, you're looking at Drizzt Duerden, valued at $17, and then Xanthar Yield Kingpin, valued at $16. Uh, and there's even one more valued over $10, and that's the Den of the Bugabear in the Dungeon Module. So all four of those signed art cards, believe it or not, are valued over $10. All right, we got Nadar, Selfless Paladin, as our first rare. And behind it, we're going to see the Book of Exalted Deeds, another mythic coming in, valued just under five bucks. Then we're going to see Gretchen Titwillow in foil with a Soul Catcher's Airy coming in off of the list from the Judgment set. Nice to see that. Love the uh, the old classic frame cards off of the list. Um, I mean, obviously, I like I like the new frames as well, but you know, it just kind of takes me back, a little nostalgia. All right, the rare for this pack is going to be an Orca Jelly, and then we're going to see an Inspiring Bard in foil, and a Zombie Token in the back. And like, have I missed a Deadly Dispute? That's uh, a common, uh, valued over a dollar, and we haven't seen one yet. A little surprising. Or maybe we saw it and I just missed it. Right, we're going to get a double rare pack. We got ourselves a Circle of Dreams Do it, Druid, another uh, high value rare, valued over five bucks. And behind it, we're going to see a foil Minion of the Mighty coming in uh, with the Atropole token in the back. All right, I think we're down to about seven or so packs. It'd be great if we got another double Gnawbone box. Our rare is going to be Hive, the Eye Tyrant coming in. Uh, is a rare uh, non-basic land valued over a dollar with an improvised weaponry and foil and a wolf token in the back. Rare is going to be a white coming in out of black. And then we're going to see a Death Priest of Merkel in foil with a goblin token in the back. All right, we are officially down to five packs. Really want to see some good list cards in the back here or uh, one of the high value signed art cards. Otherwise, I think we're tracking towards a break even box. This pack's rare is going to be a mythic. Uh, Imrith Desert Doom coming in. Unfortunately, not a high value mythic. Then we're going to see ourselves a foil horde robber and an uncommon root runner coming in out of the Kamigawa series. So you do get quite a few list cards in these boxes, so another reason to pick them up. Uh, and some of the list cards in this set uh, available to you are valued uh, over 20 bucks. So it's a really good, great place to find some value. So another non-signed art card. All right, we've got ourselves the Mind Flare as our first rare, followed by a Sphere of Annihilation coming in as a backup rare. Then we're going to see a Hoarding Ogre and another minigame token in the back. All right, three packs, three chances. Let's see some double, triple, quad rare packs and some amazing value. 
All right, our rare is gonna be Lair of the Hydra, uh, another one of the uh, non-basic lands, uh, but unfortunately not valued over a buck. Then a Minimus Containment, and a Wolf Token in the back. Officially two packs to go. Looks like we got a token in the back here. Another non-signed R card. Got the Black Dragon and Borderless. And our rare is gonna be Zalto uh, Fire Giant Duke. Uh, unfortunately, not a high value rare there. Then we're gonna see Herald of Hadar with a Fairy Dragon uh, as our token. All right, final set booster pack. Final chance to pick up a second Gnawbone. Um, pick up a Tiamat, pick up any one of the valuable cards. Looks like we're going to get stopped with one signed art card, uh, and of course not valued over a buck. This one ha has an island with a dire wolf prowler, a great axe, a leather armor, a dwarven champion, uh, Faraday Devil's Chosen with an apparent mind sorcerer, power of persuasion, a null hunter, and then we're going to see a Brunoir battle hammer, with a ranger class coming in as our rare, followed by a barbarian, barbarian class coming in as a foil, uncommon, and then we're going to get a goblin in the back. All right, so I'll get it all sorted, organized, and here comes the MTG box analysis. Get early access to videos, download the analysis for every box open on the channel, and personally DM me, just like these fine people. All by becoming a member of the channel through YouTube or over at mtgboxanalysis.com. You'll find links in the description. Until next time, do something amazing.